Everybody, welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play. And it's probably going to be a short, so uh, I wouldn't expect too many episodes on this. Anyway, this is Gravitas, developed and published by Galaxy Shark Studios. Gravitas is a short first person puzzle platforming that transports you to the role of gallery of refined gravity. When you played Gravity in the gallery itself, to prove yourself a worthy purple of the curator's masterwork. So, two things. Uh, first of all, Actually, three things, but I don't think the third one is that impressive. Anyway, uh, first of all, I'm recording this in 1080p uh, because it looks like it could use it. Um, whether or not it gets uploaded like that, I don't know. I hope to, but we'll see. Um, second of all, this game is completely free, so if you like what you're seeing early on, go play it for yourself first, I guess, because um, I don't think there's going to be much randomization on this one. Third of all, which is a thing I don't think is that important, I am using a controller. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get started. I'm hoping to fix the audio bounce as we go, because my usual recording setting can't render in 1080p, so I'm using OBS to record, and I'll uh, probably use something else to render it. So yeah, um, I'll mess with things as we go along. So let's start. Input name. Oh, so much for... Um, Confirm that. Ooh, fancy doors. I'm actually playing now. Equalizing interior pressure. Remember, there is no flash photography, loitering, or arson allowed in the gallery. No arson? What the hell? Alert! New arrival detected in the main lobby. Not now, she. I'm having my bi-hourly pondering time. The new pupil will be here any minute, and I must release all of my introspectiveness out into space. Clearly that's where it belongs, right? I'm just gonna lower sensitivity a smidge. It's already like a show gamepad, please. It's still a bit much, but... You... Mm. Ah, onward! 
I'm getting a real big um, Wheatley vibe off of her. This is an exploration into artistic expression using groundbreaking technology and cubes. Cubes. The only rule is no talking ever. All yeah, right? it's not happening. Good. She, the elevator. Please enjoy your visit to the gorge. Excursion funnel. So to appreciate my revolutionary work here, you will need this special glove. I call it the Ah. Approach the pedestal to see if you are worthy. <laughs> Begin the connection sequence. Mm. Integrating artistic appreciation enhancement apparatus. Ding! Integration complete. All right, you should be ready. You now have very limited control over gravity. Use that power. Come to me. Jump this petty gap, you glorious fool! Yeah, that's not happening, is it? Ah, whatever. Why are you just standing? What? No, no, you have to create a gravity field. Why would you just blindly? You know, it, it doesn't matter. Let's just get you out of there. There is a fieldable surface on the ceiling, and you obviously need me to explain the controls. That would help. Now, the glove is wired directly into your spine, so mm. you can use the right side of your brain to create a gravity field but, and there you go now when you do that the glove emits energy that attempts to connect with these special glowy walls the energy veins have nothing to do with anything they are simply gorgeous all right So basically this is like portal but you can make excursion funnels that's cool i mean you had portal then you had the paint thingy you know excursion funnel testing that's cool I'll, i dig that i dig that just observing me though you're pretty much telling me where to go I don't need hand holding in my puzzles too much just throwing that out there yeah it's a little bit hand holding there isn't it cubes so
I will now tell you a story. A story about a garden of gravity. Mm -hmm. The garden is quiet. A gourd reminder. Press B to cancel your current gravity beam. She! Holy mother of immersion! Just engage the calming ambience! Ambience initialized. Ah, so tranquil. Traverse its valleys, search its nooks, fondle its crannies. Let the story begin. It's like morning something, right? I'm hoping that's not copyrighted music. Okay. So there's the door. And that's where we want to end. And I guess we're done? No, you're, no, well, you're still here, but you're not... Uh, Okay, so I need to remind myself they only pull. All right. So we want to get the box down here. Can we jump on it? As in, can we jump high enough? No, not even a little bit. Um, okay, so that's first stone falls into the river, bringing you goals in sight by disrupting nature, scaring deer, and confusing the birds. This stone judges you. Uh, I doubt it's a simple as. I guess, oh, we need to do multiples. That makes way more sense. Like, way, way, way more sense. The second stone stays neutral. It does not know you, but likes your face. The first stone judges this new stone. <laughs> it does this because it is insecure. Can you blame him? Killing all the wildlife. Maybe I shouldn't ask too many questions. Just enjoy the ride, I guess. The fifth stone is a metaphor for distractions. That's it? That's not high enough. How do we get glorious stone number six? I don't think that's... Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, it's fine. Don't get caught on the ledge. The sixth and final stone is actually just a cube, but it judges me, and I hate it. Damn you cubes. Your judgmental ways. Turns out we only needed five of those. Make no longer hallway. Aww. Goodbye, stones. Evacuating is now forty-two percent recommended. One and we have company, and also I don't care. <laughs> Plenty of bathrooms, though. your appreciation of my genius. Isn't that great? I'm so excited. <laughs> Welcome to the second piece of my guide. 
gallery. I call this one, now you can die! All right, we'll go have some fun. And watch your step, if you like feet. All right. I think you would get like extra power Whee! or something. You're enjoying this a little bit too much, I think. Oh, there you are. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This here is Bothbothercube. He will be assisting you with this particular piece, which is good because he has neither skin nor eyes. Uh, be gentle with him, though. Okay, so there's an obvious joke to be made here, having to guide a cube through a level. Get a reference to Portal. I don't think I need to make it myself, right? You guys are smart. Hey, right, Bartholomew or whatever is. Bartholomew cube, sorry. Up. I probably can. Yeah, I can just do this, right? And then jump in after it. Go. Go. We actually have room. Can I just float over it? Looks like I could. Yeah, that or I follow Bartholomew Cube over. I think that's a more likely scenario. Onwards, my noble cube. Like 40% sure this is gonna work. Nice. So, is this where we uh, unfortunately leave you behind? Yeah, sorry, dude. You know what I just realized? I actually hate Bartholomew Cube. You didn't! Why the mind fears death. But you also must fear death, because if you fall in, you die. A scored reminder. There is no diving in the laser ocean unless a lifeguard is present. Okay. You know, after we're finished with this session, I think I'll introduce you to my penguin pupils. You would love them. They have a glorious little playground where they sculpt ice entirely with their little feet. Alert. Assuming I get a yeah. Onwards once again and upwards, preferably. That's no oh. Bartholic you didn't fit, huh? Yeah, 
Oh, I sh no, I think I can still get in. Yeah. Wow, we keep finishing these really fast. Oh, when you still have both of your eyes and feet. I know, right? It's like I know what I'm doing or something. It's like I'm good at this type of game. <laughs> 